Hello, people. Welcome to Bedak Farms. And as always, as I told you last time, that we are raising up more than about uh, 11,000 last year old chicks. So today, too, what we want to learn is how to reduce coxie when we are raising these day old chicks. But one thing is that at this stage, it's very, very hard to control coxie. And mostly when you have coxie, it's going to uh, try to reduce how the bears grow because the bears are going to, their intestines are going to develop a lot of bacteria and uh, it's going to harbor their growth. So instead of them growing at a normal rate, you're not going to get it that rate. So what are the things that you do to just reduce the coccidiosis in these beds? And as I told you last time, when you come in the morning, you check how the beds have to, the best, and you check how the strength or the health of the beds by hitting the, the net, which you have done in this morning. And also the next one is this morning, how we feed them in the morning and what we do to reduce the coccidiosis that I'm saying. So look at this uh, feeding trough when they ate last night or after eating last night. When they come in the morning, you may see some of them like this. Some of them will also be very, very dirty. And <clears throat> some of them also come with their waste and their droppings. And even the water, you may see the water, they have poured a lot of uh, waste, a lot of sawdust, a lot of their droppings in it. So what we do before we put feed in the trough is that we use this uh, scrapper to just scrub the whole thing, every waste in the feeding trough before we do it. So I just wanted to know that how we do So this is my uh, brother here. He's also working with us. And we are feeding them together. So he is having the feed, and I'm the one doing the scrub. So we must at least have two people, or one person if he can do it. So you know, uh, the cameraman who is also doing, he's also, also working here with us. So what we do is we take your scrubber, and as soon as you start doing that, the best will come around because they want to eat. So as soon as you do that, you just have to make sure everything is empty before you put the feed on it. So as we do that, you may see like, he put, he put the food on it, and the bears will come along and eat the feed. So that's what we are doing. And after that, we're gonna take the whole, the whole of the, uh, of the drinkers away. We're gonna take the whole drinkers away so that we make sure we feed them uh, fresh drink, uh, fresh water. I say fresh drink, fresh water. So people, these are some of the little tidbits I want to give to you so that when you go in the morning, uh, some of the things that you have to do about the day old chicks, you can see them every day growing and it's really, uh, it's very wealthy to see that or it's very exciting to see that. And you can see we have started changing the feeders over there, giving them bigger feeders. But at times, because we are trying to reduce the coxie, the more they eat from their own waste, and the more they eat and uh, they drop the feed because they will be just putting the feed on the grounds and they'll be eating. And these are the things that cause the coxie. So you want to do that to reduce it. So some of the feeding trough, it becomes very, very dirty because at night they sleep on it. So if you're a farmer or if you're a worker, don't go in the morning right away putting food in this thing. You are killing the best. You are not doing anything. You are not just feeding bears. You are just giving them diseases. Granted, with this dropping, this waste, uh, some of them are very, very dirty. I will try to get one for you. Like something like this. Because of last night, they slept on it. So instead of me sitting there and just go and just, some people will just go, it's okay. Because the owner of the farm is not there. Because maybe he doesn't care. But I would say, what is a passion or the businessman of our passion? So if you don't scrub this and you put food on it, you are just giving the bear disease. So instead of your bears to grow, they won't grow. End of the day, they will start having all these infections. They will start having all these diseases. So people just go in the morning, buy something like this thing, and just scrub it off. You just scrub it off. That's what we do before we put feed in any of them. If you don't do that, and each room is about getting to 60 of them. So we will do each each of them before we put food in it. 
and I don't know, they would too. We will take the drinkers. Don't just go. Some people come in the morning, and they will see these drinkers. And instead of them to take it out, because they think there is water in it already, or this coming from last night or evening when we were going, put it in. They will just flip it or just try to take the waste water away and just say, oh, it's okay. No. In the morning, we are going to take the whole drinkers away. That you can reduce the oxidosis and reduce other disease. And so we meet next time. I say, chase your dreams and money will follow you. Peace. Salon.